Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Eric and today I'm going to be reviewing a seat based frame from boast2go.com for your inflatable boat. Let me get on it. Now for those of you who have no idea what this is about, this is basically a seat based frame that you can actually lay on top of the floor of your inflatable boat where you can actually lay down a seat like this and perhaps use a static or a movable extension that allows you to have some height into it. I'm going to be using, this is called a Sweeblees, I believe it's called. Uh, I bought this separately, of course, in the seat, of course. And uh, I'm going to be installing this on the frame because this will give me some height, you know, and adjustable too because it actually comes with a, uh, with a pin here on the side that allows you to adjust the height. It's got one, two, three, four holes we can actually adjust it. I'm going to put it on number three for now, just for this demonstration. So, I'm going to get you guys in closer so I can show you the bolts and everything that we're going to use. Alright, so the frame itself comes with this hardware. It comes with four bolts, four nuts, and these adjusters, which will actually go... Oh, wait, I dropped a washer. I don't want to drop a washer. Which will go right here, because you're, you're going to move this side to side and you want to keep it on place. And this will go right here and create pressure so the tube doesn't move tight and it doesn't move that's what these are for there's gonna be two up here and two down there and these bolts and nuts are gonna be used to put the frame in place the seat that I purchased came with its own bolts they're right here these are gonna I'm gonna be using those in order to attach it on top so these bolts will be used to attach the, the, um, the static frame the static extension into the frame itself and then these bolts which comes with the seat will be go on top all right looks like the bolts are a bit slightly too big to enter the uh, orifice of this i'm gonna grind it a little bit just to make a little bit of space okay so i grinded the holes a little bit not a whole lot it didn't need it much i did it with a little file and now the bolts whoo they fit right in now they do yay all right now i'm gonna go ahead and install everything Okay, so I just finished putting all four bolts and nuts in place. The bolts themselves are flush at the bottom. As you can see, it keeps it flat. And that's in very important when you put this on top of an inflatable floor. I mean, it should be fine if you have a standard aluminum floor, but inflatable floor, that's what you want. You want it flat so it won't hurt it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the seat on top. Right, make sure I put the orientation the way I want it. See, orientation is important. I want the seat to be pointing this way. On the right side so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these bolts uh, depending on which brand seat you get uh, it may have the different types of bolts this one has a Phillips head bolt over here see Phillips and it's got the threads inside right here so this will go on top of here and then I put in the bolts in place I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm just putting it upside down so I can put the bolts in place and get them tight so I think this will be the the best strategy to use just lay the seat on the floor put the frame on top everything stays in place doesn't move about and now we can get it tight all right i'm not gonna bore you guys with these details i'm just gonna get it tight and then show you guys when i put it on the <laughs> in the uh in the floor of the boat i was just talking about orientation right look what i ended up doing this is the way it's supposed to lay down <laughs> look the way <laughs> I'm gonna take this out real quick and turn it around. Okay, so I made the correction. I apologize about that. <laughs> That's why I mentioned the whole deal about orientation. Now I got it correctly the way I want it. So now let me bring you guys in closer to the boat so I can place it in the floor and explain everything else. Okay, everybody, so this right here is my personal inflatable cabote. This is a CK380. It is 26 inches wide inside. Most inflatable boats from boats2go.com, aside from the smaller cabots, they're a little smaller, but they're mostly 26 inches. And the majority of uh, other brands as well, actually. So this would be more like a one size fits most. <laughs> anyway, let me go ahead and slide it in. The floor is obviously deflated. Now the floor itself is mostly deflated because I want to lay it down. As you guys can see, it's leaning on one specific angle and I want to make this as even as possible. Because once you inflate it, it's going to be like that for the rest of your trip. So, I'm going to make sure this is 
perfectly aligned because we're gonna inflate in a minute excellent i'm gonna go ahead and inflate this and show you guys what it looks like okay everybody here it is fully installed i mean that thing is in there that's not going anywhere that's pretty awesome all right there's something i discovered about the little sweeblies at the bottom i want to show you guys real quick let me lay you guys over here and show you all right so this is the idea you be traveling on the water you got your you got your tiller right on the water huh? that's pretty good now on this one in specific if you guys want to be fishing because you don't want to be fishing like this you want to be fishing like this and you don't want to have the seat like that so you take the pin out I'm new to this, so I just learned it. You take the pin out, and this allows the seat to move about. So if I stop in one area for some reason, I can just stop, get myself ready, and now mind you, a full confession, you guys won't probably won't see much fishing. I don't do a whole lot of fishing. However, I know a lot of you guys do it, and this is, this is perfect. <laughs> it makes a bit of a noise when you turn, of course, but it works, huh? It works. It doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is pretty awesome. Strong too. I like it. I love it. All right. Actually, it looks quite nice. I like it a lot. Very nice. It really does. Well, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I had a bit of a couple of hiccups here and there, you know, putting it just right, getting in the right orientation, but I believe I got it just right. And hopefully this video will help you guys installing it and using it when you're out on the water. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be safe out there, and I'll see you guys on the next one, okay? Later.